Hi, welcome to my Meet the Characters of Sacred series. With Sacred um, about to be released, I'm super excited to share it with you and just wanted to help um, give you an idea of my characters ahead of time. Fafnir was born around 2018 as this concept of an anti-fairy. So I was reading a lot about fairy folk at the time. I'm super interested in them. And fairies from classic Celtic legend are typically magical, mischievous, light-footed folk. More supernatural than natural. But I had this idea as I was sketching fairies of a fairy who is grounded and pragmatic. And scientific, even. And that's what Fafnir became. He was born from listening to uh, the artist Andrew Bird, who I would highly recommend. He's an amazing violinist. Uh, he was also born from the concepts of Frederick Nietzsche, particularly Thus Spoke Therasuja, as well as the psychology of the INTJ from Myers-Briggs and the Enneagram 5. But there's also a part of him from me. A part of me if I could be honest, longs to be alone forever. So Fafnir's dream, he revokes the law that uh, makes him give up his immortality. So for a thousand years, he gets to live in this regimented world of his own control, rising with the dawn, carving his violins and playing them, walking through the woods, perfecting his crafts, and living by no one's rules but his own. And he thinks he's going to get to do that forever, with an infinite number of years. And me, as a natural hermit and a hoarder of energy, that sounds amazing to me. To be able to just float through the woods in this world of my own making, make my own art, and not have to adhere to anyone's schedule for all of eternity. But then, what about other people? What about the concept of communities, of sharing company with other people, of sharing skills, and the warmth of another person's hand in your own? And that is essentially Fafnir's story, is realizing that he does need other people. He learns to essentially come out of his mind castle, to come down into the world and give to the communities around him. And that is a theme that is a very essential part of my life. So I'm excited for you to see it unfold in the story.